Yep. Yeah. You can hear me, yeah? Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah? yeah. All right. You may not know me, but I think some of you do. Nope. What? Don't oh, know you. I know I'm in Cleveland now. Hey, we're just doing a real quick uh, announcement about the Dead Matters the movie. It's got uh, our beloved big Chuck Shadowski in it. It's a major. Okay, it's got. Uh, it was filmed locally in Cleveland. It was, and it was filmed Sarah. in Mansfield and Crestline, Ohio, which is about an hour and a half south of here at Precinct 13 Entertainment, which is owned by Robert Kurtzman, who did the um, effects for like Pulp Fiction, um, Dust the Lawn, and a bunch of other movies. Um, I have to talk into the mic. Sorry, guys. Um, so it was filmed locally. Um, Ed Douglas is the director. He's from Chardon, Ohio. He's lived in Chardon his whole life. Um, and it's a pretty big budget film for an independent movie. Filmed mostly with local Ohio cast and crew. Um, a lot of people from Ohio State. A lot of people from Cleveland. Um, in fact, one of our main actors, Tom Nagel, is actually originally from Cleveland and is now out in L.A. doing other stuff out there. So. Um, Really good for Ohio, really good film. Um, filmed on film, so it looks really cool. It's got that early 80s horror movie feel. Um, kind of suspense, kind of horror, not a lot of gore. Um, good movie. So. One of the important things about it is they took the time to get some real talented people like Big Chuck Shadowski and Count Gordoval, who is a TV horror host in the uh, Washington, D.C. area, I believe so. Yes. His name is Dick Diesel. And these are very highly talented people that were in the trades for a long time. And it's going to show in this movie because they, they went out and got some really talented people. We have a short clip we'd like to show. It's about a minute and a half. And I think Chuck's in it? Yes. Yep. yes. Chuck's on the clip. And Chuck doesn't have a little role in this either. He has a big speaking part in it. It's not like a cameo. And I think some dastardly things actually happen to him. So you'll want to check this out. And it's going to come out, what, in the spring? We're hoping. It's, um, we're finishing up post-production now. And then once that's done, it's done and it's set off to a distributor, then we'll know. But there should be at least a premiere in Cleveland. Um, and we're hoping for at least a local theatrical release. OK, so anyway, the big news is if there is a Galardi Fest next year, this would definitely be something that would be a big deal by next October at the fest. Okay, we'll step aside and we'll go ahead and watch the film. Can you move that poster down? Oh. <laughs> Sorry about that. Maybe not, but that's alright. Hey, can you grab the chair too?
just so you know, the CD from the Dead Matter, it's got some music from the movie, but it's not a soundtrack to the movie. We're over right by the entrance, so if you want to look at the mm -hmm. music, we'll also have the trailer playing. So it's pretty cool. It's all local. You know, Ed and Gavin are from Cleveland, and you know, we've been, they've been doing this for 10 years with the soundtracks, and this is their first movie. So. Well, I can tell you one thing from looking at that. I don't think Big Chuck's going to make it. <laughs> <laughs> I think he'll make Thank it. you, everyone. Re Rings by Robert's coming right up.